and action camera. The Insta360 ONE X2 is a 360 degree action camera that arguably rivals some of the top cameras from GoPro and other brands. This video is just a short intro to the camera. The full review with a whole lot more detail is over on singletracks.com. So to start off, you'll notice that the color in the video is really nice in the shade. The greens, blues, browns, oranges of the forest pop with just enough contrast, but not so much contrast that it looks weird. And the color stays fairly consistent across the frame, even when the sun peeks into the lens of the camera a bit. And you'll notice that the image stabilization in this camera is fantastic. This is mounted on a chest protector, and the Insta360 camera creates some of the smoothest footage I've managed to get on my bike. Sound recording is overall about the same as a GoPro. And similarly, if you want it to get better, you'll need to use an external microphone. The wind noise reduction does a decent job of cutting wind noise, but it also cuts all of the sound that's not coming from the camera bobbling around on your mount. So you can hear that there is some sound coming through that's pretty decent, but then it's kind of chopped up as there's more wind noise that hits the microphone. There's also a separate 360 microphone setting that doesn't cut the wind noise, and it does pick up everything, but it kind of creates a wall of sound and picks up too much. So. If sound in the, with the video is important, that's definitely going to be where you'll want a separate microphone. And back to the visual aspect, I've been really impressed by how this camera works in the shade. Um, it picks up color and detail in the shadows where the forest can get fairly dark, which really opens up the video to a lot more editing styles. I mean, you can still darken those shadows as much as you want afterward. Some of the coolest features of this camera uh, require setting it on the ground, which I don't do a whole lot while I'm riding, but I did take the time to set it up in the 360 mode several times to check out how it works, and there's some really cool features. There's a stick you can put on your back if you happen to have open trails with no trees, and it kind of makes it look like there's a drone following you. Or you can obviously put it on your helmet, put it on your chest, you can put this thing anywhere and it records any visual angle you want. And then you can go back in and as you'll see in this next clip, you can move the focal point so that the camera follows you down the trail to a certain extent. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble getting it to follow me in a full circle, but uh, it's a really cool feature, especially if you go out and film yourself solo. A lot of this editing work does need to be done on the phone, and then you send that edit to your computer or wherever you need to send it. However, Insta360 is working on a plugin for Premiere Pro, so you'll be able to put those two together. So this current chunk of video is with the camera on top of my helmet on a much brighter day. And like a lot of good cameras, it doesn't seem to like the bright light and high contrast light quite as much. The clarity overall goes down in these shots from a helmet, and as usual, the ride looks a lot slower, the trail looks less interesting, and generally having a little bit of the bike or your body in the shot seems to make everything look a lot cooler and more fun, which should come as no surprise to anyone who regularly uses an action cam. One thing that Insta360 definitely didn't sort out with this uh, in comparison to a GoPro is that cameras from both brands and any brand that I've seen don't really show the steepness and the intensity of a trail so it's always kind of everything looks flatter and easier and it's hard to really tell if you're jumping or not without putting the camera on the ground. This camera has an amazing amount of features that aren't shown here. I kind of wanted to focus on what mountain bikers might be most interested in with the camera and compare it in a similar to way to how I use other action cameras on the bike. But there's all kinds of really cool things you can do, especially in editing with the 360, where you can change the angle and the focal point, and of course there's all sorts of filters and different things just for social media that some folks might be into. For more details on all of that and the full review of this camera, head over to singletracks.com.